Hi, I'm David. I won at Fit Factor 2013. I'm Ryan, and I won at Fit Factor 2014. And, well, how was your prep for the show? Um, my prep went really well, actually. Um, I was prepping for a different competition before that. I was prepping for the uh, WBFF two weeks after, um, and I kind of came in as a bit of a wild card. Um, I went in down to one of the, um, one of the courses, one of the workshops um, in London, and basically uh, got picked up there and asked to, uh, if I'd like to do the show, and I went, to, I went from there with it, yeah. Nice. Was that one of the castings? Yeah, it was like a casting workshop kind yeah. of thing, yeah. Um, they were kind of, I think there was James Exandrellis there, uh, there were a couple of other people there just kind of showing us what to not do and what to do when, when yeah. posing. They didn't have castings the year that I did it, but they're quite important, right? You yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, the kind of, um, the casting part for me was, again, I, 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 I really say it, it was a bit more like a confidence booster yeah. kind of thing, just to actually get in front of people and do the posing, doing your yeah. T-walk and kind of getting the expectation of what you're actually going to be doing on stage. Because they're, they're quite far, far out from the shows, the castings, so yeah. I would say they give you a, a really good heads up of, of what's going to be required quite far in advance. Um, and there are there is generally more than one casting and they release more castings down the line so it's always good to get yourself down to the very first casting you might not make it in in that casting but by finding out what's going to be needed and going to the first one you give yourself time to to learn those new skills and get down to the next casting to get yourself qualified for fit factor 2015 what kind of uh, what kind of what did you take away from the uh, from the casting um, well, like I said, for, for, do, for the workshop, yeah. They didn't do castings in my year, but they did do the workshops, which is something something different from the castings. The workshops is a full-on coaching day um, where they bring down lots of professional athletes who are experienced in stage coaching and training as well, training for shows. And so, to learn from them is is really good experience in the build-up to the show. Because um, Fit Fact is a, a unique competition. It's, it's not just about how your physique looks, it's about your whole personality. So you have to really learn that, that fit factor, um, so to speak. And with that stage presence and, and posing and showing your personality, bringing that out on the stage is very important. So I think that's a big part of it is like bringing the personality out of yourself and bringing, yep. bringing your own personal little stamp onto your stage presence and then, like there's so many people who kind of walk on and do the same old thing the same old yep. same old posing routine um, but putting your own little stamp on it on a little flair will make the judges kind of look at you a little bit out of the 70 people that are going to be walking in front of them exactly. if they need a little bit oh I know, you did something a bit different there yeah yeah definitely because there's lots of there's lots of staple poses your core poses but the team walk what you'll do on the stage so it's completely free there's no rules whatsoever. Um, and sure, the staple poses which are important to do, but how you link those poses together and the flair in which you put into that, how you add your own signature to it, that's what's really, really key and that's what you'll learn at the workshop. Yeah, it's the confidence of moving from one transition to the next and how you trans go from one pose to another pose and, and getting that, that fluidity in it. Yeah. You know, so it's not jerking around and you actually, you feel quite confident in doing it. I must admit, Training for me is kind of second nature. Posing, yeah, you know, it was like, what, what am I doing? I don't, yep. I don't, I don't this, is, this is something that a lot of probably you know yourself. Guys, say, oh, I'm going to compete in 16 weeks. So when did you start posing? Oh, I'll do that a month before. <laughs> Four weeks. No, you need to start posing now. You I need think, to... um, I think a key word that you said there was fluidity. Yeah. Um, you have to be very, very smooth in all of your poses. It has to look. That's to look almost natural. Effortless. Um, right. Effortless. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's no use just knowing the, what the pose looks like. It's making it look effortless. Yeah. Making it look second nature. It's the it's the it's the modern aspect as well. Because even though you're tensing and you're really flexing your muscles as hard as you can, 
you can't show that in your face. No. You can't be doing no grimacing Absolutely. faces, no grunting. No. Uh, maybe when you're doing the back shots and no one can see your face, you can maybe get away <laughs> with it. But not when you're looking at it like... That's when you let the face recover. <laughs> yeah, before. take the smile yeah, down yeah. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a facial aspect too. Um, and there's lots of skills to holding the correct smile, to syncing the breathing with the smile so you don't find yourself panting on stage and all of those key tips you'll, you'll learn at the workshops. Yeah. I don't think a massive uh, full-on pout is massively necessary. I mean, maybe a little bit of pouting, and, but a massive smile for the guys is, is, is probably key. But we I all don't. have Ben Stiller, but <laughs> forget the blue steel for this one. Blue steel. Yeah.